Hey guys, what's up? It's a Looney TNT. Today we are going to do a um, top five best classes for WoW Classic. WoW Classic has been blowing up everywhere. People are asking, what should I roll? What should I do? Today I'm going to go and I'm going to talk about the five most desirable classes in World of Warcraft Classic. Every class in World of Warcraft, it's going to be viable, other than, you know, the boomkin, right? But most classes and um, certain specs are going to be viable to some extent, especially in a 40-man environment. People are going to be like, hey, what are you? Are you a human? Come with me. <laughs> and they're going to take you to the group. But there are definitely classes that are more desirable than others. And I'm going to talk about that in today's video. So let's go ahead and let's get it started. In no order, we're going to start off with the rogue the Rogue being one of the best melee DPS classes in WoW Classic, WoW Vanilla, however you want to say it. This class is going to be wanted by a lot of different people. For PvP, for PvE, your Eviscerates didn't scale with gear much, so that's why you saw a lot of like um, rogues with no gear one-shotting people back in the day with those videos. But the great thing about this class is they do great DPS, but they can also manage threat. That was a huge thing. They can manage their threat and everybody wanted them. You know, some people would stack seven rogues in one raid. So if you're wanting a melee DPS, rogue would be a great pick. The warrior. The warrior can do two things. Fury, they did amazing DPS, but what you're going to be wanted for is you're going to be wanted for the main tank. You are the tank in WoW Classic. You are the best tank. There is no other tank that even compares to you. There are some things that some people tried, and yes, you did have other tanks trying, but the Protection Warrior was the best tank overall, without a doubt. So if you're looking to want to DPS and to tank, the warrior is going to be a great choice for you because there's there's nothing bad about a warrior. The hunter. The hunter is a class that is way different than it, it that it is today. Hunters back then and in classic will have mana. So that's a thing. So just by doing the hunter's rotation, they do great DPS, but they will go out of mana. But they have a spell called Faint Death that you can actually get out of combat and drink to gain mana. That's a huge plus for the Hunter. Also, you can apply Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark is huge. Hunter's Mark will always be a debuff that you're going to want on the boss. Bosses only have a limited space for debuffs, so certain classes are mandatory to put that debuff on and other classes cannot. We did talk about the rogue earlier. The rogue was not allowed to use poisons, so they didn't take up a debuff, uh, debuff slot. But the hunter, you want that debuff slot for hunter's mark. They also have trank shot. They can kite. It's going to be a good class, and it's going to be desired. The mage, one of the best range classes in WoW Classic. They can do so many things. But one of the best thing they can do, they can make food and they can make a, a mana pots, right? Those, that's going to be one thing that you're going to be doing all the time. You're going to be creating food for players. But that doesn't mean that you're just one of those classes like a warlock that just throws up a buff. Mages are unique because they can use two different specs. They can use frost and they can use fire. At the beginning of the expansion in classic, you will definitely be frost and you definitely will level as frost. Frost is very powerful, and the great thing about a mage is the more mages you have in a group, the better it is for you because of their debuff. They only take up one debuff slot, and every single mage uses that debuff slot, so it's very good. They can also ice block pull. They can blink in, ice block, let the adds all hit them, let the boss hit them, let the tanks go and generate aggro on all the targets, and then they're good to go. Now, they have amazing CC. They're just, you know, the only problem with a mage is threat. <laughs> so they can't just spam their abilities because they will definitely pull threat. That's the only problem with a mage. A mage is 
super good. And probably if you had to go with one of the top DPS ever um, for just a class, Mage would probably be it. So if you're looking for a very, very powerful um, leveling tune because they can AoE pull and you're looking for a great raider, a Mage might be the way to go. Now here's the last one. I will have some honorable mentions also though, but if you are looking to heal, you're gonna wanna be a priest. If you want a guaranteed healing spot, you wanna be a priest. If you wanna be in a raid, you wanna be a priest. If you wanna have pull, you wanna be a priest. Priests were just the best healers in classic. Now, let's have some honorable mentions though. Druids actually healed good too. You didn't want more than two because the rejuves didn't stack. It only had you can only have two, you know, um, on a target. So you didn't want a ton of them. Shamans were also uh, good healers. They weren't bad. Paladins, they were good healers also. Uh, Paladins just kind of spammed flash of light. So if you're just looking for just a, a class just to stand there and spam one button, uh, most of these classes all spammed one button, but the uh, the Holy Paladin did that. Um, and remember, Paladins were Alliance only and Shamans were Horde only. So, you know, if you wanted to, Shamans were cool. They had Wind Fury. Um, if you wanted to make some great like PVP videos with doing some crazy stuff, you can do that. But overall, every class in WoW Classic, if it is the same, will be viable other than uh, Boomkin, unfortunately. So have some fun. Pick a class. Have fun with everything because World of Warcraft Classic, there was not a lot of skill involved. It was very basic with everything. And I'm very excited to see what we can do as a player base with WoW Classic because... You know, our computers are better for one. The players overall are better. I can't wait to see how we do in the raids because a lot of these uh, these raids were designed for having maybe 20 to 30 people and then the rest were fillers. So I think today, most of the raids that we have today, we try to do our best to fill it up as much as we can. But you're definitely, with a 40-man raid, you're definitely going to just take random people. So if you do have a class that you want to play, look into it. There's a lot of classes that do different things. These are just the, probably the five top desirable classes. If there's any other classes that you think should be on the list, leave it in the comments so people can scroll down, read the comment. I didn't talk about Warlock because all Warlocks really did was put a um, debuff on the target for the mages. And, uh, you know, so there was a lot of different classes that did different things that I didn't mention. So, please, leave in the comments, let players know, and I hope you guys have fun with WoW Classic.